Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Mike from We Are the Saints. I have an urgent message for you and all to hear. This message has come to me by the Lord, and he'd asked me to say it to everyone who will listen. I know this is urgent because these messages have been intensifying all night and during the day, one after another. Without further ado, I'm going to get started. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the creator of heaven and earth, Yahweh, the one and only true God, the God of Israel, the great I am. Yes, I am he. Peoples of the earth, do you know me? Do you really know who I am? I am Elohim, Yeshua, and Yahweh is my name, both God and Savior. For in the Son does the fullness of the Father dwell. Emmanuel, there is no other. Yet you of this earth have not known me. Behold, I have spoken it plainly, using few figures of speech, yet you do not know me. From the beginning, even unto this day, I have declared it through all my servants, the prophets, and still you refuse to know me as I truly am. Indeed, from the peoples of the earth who pollute my name, and the nations take counsel together to strike me from remembrance. Therefore, all shall come to know me in my anger. Every tribe, tongue, and people shall behold my hand against the nations, until all those who blaspheme are bowed down, until every jaw is clamped shut and every tongue cleaved to the roof of the mouth. For I am come out of my sanctuary to astound the nations, to judge and to pour out judgment, to repay and take vengeance upon all my enemies, to make an end. Yet I ask of you, who among the nations fear me? Who among this great multitude trembles in fear at the coming of the Holy One of Israel? Who among this modern generation, among these multitudes of perverse and vile people, revere my name? Who is able to look upon my form and live? And who among the mighty shall be able to stand when the wrath of God is revealed in heaven? Therefore, number your steps before me, O sons of men. Make haste, grab hold of your satchel, and prepare to flee. For the wrath of God does not sleep, and is about to be poured out. For I have prepared calamity for all your lavish houses, and disaster for all your palaces. Behold, I have purposed destruction for every city where Satan dwells. Yes, great destruction from the Almighty comes, distress and calamity without respite. The threshing of the Lord, and the purging of all the nations. For thus saith the Lord, who will not be cast down when I stretch out my arm against the nations, when the anger of the Lord comes forth like fire, and the word of the Lord as a purifying flame? Therefore, seek to establish my way before me, says the Lord God, and I shall also establish you, for I am the Lord, and I shall surely establish justice in all the earth. Why do you stand so proud, O sons of men? Why do you set your faces like stone, and resolve in your hearts to fight against me? Therefore, I too have set my face against you, and the resolve of my heart is to abase you, and upon the wicked my punishment shall be most severe. Be bowed down, O wicked generation. Humble yourselves and repent, and seek now the righteousness of the Lord. Seek after the way of God, that you may walk in it, and embrace him, who was lifted up for you on the tree, that you may live and not die, saith the Lord. O sons of men, how long shall you court death and desire abomination? For your hearts are full of adultery, and you have not ceased from lying down with sin. Behold, you have joined yourself to the grave, and with death you have made your agreement. O foolish peoples, wicked nations, see the word of the Lord. Yea, upon your ears and hear listen to the voice of the Lord your God, and prepare my way before me, that you may live and not die. For there is no other God besides me, a just God and a Savior, there is none besides me. Behold, the Holy One comes to gather and to judge, to take his spoil and to pour out judgment. He shall be sent down, and he shall surely steal away his treasure and secure his inheritance, pillage every nation, leaving every house desolate. Therefore, woe to the peoples of the earth, woe, I say to them, woe to the generation of my wrath. Therefore, thus says the Lord of the peoples of the earth, Come forth from your hiding places and call upon your gods. Hurry now, call upon your leaders and beg your generals to set their armies in battle array. 
and see if they are in any way able to deliver you out of my hand. See whether or not they can hide you from the face of him who sits on the throne. For I am come out to punish the wicked and to cast down the mighty. Behold, I shall avenge myself on all my adversaries. Their rebellion shall be turned upon their own heads. Their wrath, anger shall consume them while they lie in their beds. For they have surely hated me, denying me days without end. Murder and lies is all I know. Thus, I, even I who created them and gave them life, shall cast them to the side of the pit. And this at the behest of their own mouths, their lives forfeit. For they have loved transgression and do not run and do always run greedily for gain, with no thoughts to others. The way of the Lord they have put far from them. The truth is gone from their hearts. And of the life they want no part, the light of their eyes darkened. For the wicked have no home, neither does the evildoer have any place in my holy mountain. From the earth and from the holy city they are completely cut off. Therefore I am indeed come out to judge the inhabitants of the earth. I am indeed come forth to pass judgment, until every cracked reed is broken and pierces the hand of the most wicked generation. For they have surely bound themselves together in one accord, they stand defiant against the Holy One of Israel. Thus I shall cut them down in their loftiness, and crush them at the height of their rebellion, breaking off every branch, drying up every root, until there is no trace left, and the land is utterly desolate. And it shall be as though they had never been, says the Lord your God. I am moved to wrath, my cup overflows, for great is the indignation of the Lord. I come out to tread upon the gods of the earth, to destroy every stronghold, to break apart every dwelling place of idols. Behold, even against the churches of men shall I stretch out my hand, and my dis discipline shall be severe. Yes, I have set my face against them, for they have pr provoked me to anger. Behold, they even provoke me in my own name, says the Lord. Thus I will judge them according to their ways, and repay them for their abominations, for I am the Lord. And behold, a great collapse shall ensue, ensue, even from one end of the earth to the other, for their wickedness shall be exposed, and their shame made plain. For the threshing of the Lord comes forth to separate, and to divide asunder, to cleanse, and to wipe away. Then shall the foundation stone be uncovered, and no more shall it be hidden by men, or cover over with corrupt doctrine and filthy traditions. No more shall all this purple and scarlet hide the truth of who I am, nor shall this false image stand in my place any more. Neither shall all these men of vanities block my way before me any more. For I am a jealous God, and I will not share my glory. Behold, the anger of the Lord shall burst forth to the conquering of nations, to the punishing of great kings, to the slaughter of mighty men, to the utter destruction of every false god, to the smashing of every idol. To the kings of the east and every idol, to the kings of the south and every idol, to the kings of the west, even all their material possessions and every idol, until I have brought utter ruin upon them, and to the kings and chief princes who surround my people, to every temple of Allah and every idol. Behold, I shall murder the God of the sons of Ishmael before their eyes, and he shall die in that day. For he is no God, neither can he save or deliver any out of my hand. For I shall cover his prophet in shame, and cause his name to become an awful spewing among the nations, a byword and a hissing in all the world. And when the days are accomplished, I shall bring my hand against the kings of the north and every idol. I shall tear them in pieces and cast down their ruler, covering their cities with darkness and their people with a sore. Wailing and gnashing of teeth shall be heard without ceasing, until I have made a full end, says the Lord. For the Lord God has purposed. Who can annul it? Behold, the first of the vessels is tipped, and shall shortly be overturned, its content rushing forth like a flood. For my countenance is changed, my anger is come to the full, and fills my, fa fills my face like a fire. Thus the time of the great recompense has come and cannot be turned back. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I shall surely repay. Behold, the earth swells with abominations, 
The cities of men are filled with darkness and overflow with every kind of evil. Every foul and wretched sin reaches new heights in wickedness. Across the land and sea, it spreads forth like a plague. Even in the wide open spaces, it is there carried upon prevailing winds to every corner. O oh, most wicked generation, you have raised up Sodom from the dust and brought forth Gomorrah from the ashes, having learned nothing from their example. Behold, the days of Noah are revived before my face. Thus, thus the days of calamity and many sorrows have come in. Peoples of the earth, your evils are not hidden, nor does your wickedness sleep. Behold, the cause of the oppressed has come up before me, and the cries of the innocent fill my chambers. Even the sound of every unborn child which you have murdered has entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Murder fills every corner. Blood flows in the streets, and the lewd gladly walk in it. Sons of perdition, who put evil for good and darkness for light, and do not cease from cursing the Maker? Thus, by all their doings, they have brought blood upon their own heads, says the Lord. Therefore, thus declares the Lord to the generation of his wrath, from the blood of righteousness, Abel, to the blood of every unborn child, even of every person murdered in innocent blood, from the beginning until this day, have I laid upon this generation. For I had spoken, yet you would not hear. It was written, yet you rejected my word. I poured out, yet you refused to drink. And now, even as in all the times past, you come against my servants, the prophets. Behold, even the churches of men join in your error and remain on your part. For they have not discerned, neither will they listen. For they clasp their hands over their ears, as scales grow over their eyes. They are blinded, casting their lots with this world and the deceiver. Therefore, says the Lord, blood. Blood shall be your drink, suffering shall be your meal, your meat. Blood and suffering shall fill every corner, for this is your due reward, seeing as how you do revel in it. Behold, you show no concern over the affliction of others, and care not for the poor and the needy. The cause of the widow and the fatherless is all but forgotten among you, and over the slaying of the innocent rarely a tear is shed. Your murders have not ceased, they only increase in measure. Nor have your leaders lifted a finger to put an end to this injustices. Nor has the outcry of the suffering entered into your ears. Nor has the scale of these atrocities penetrated your stony hearts, whereby you should have been moved by it. Therefore, blood, blood shall fill the rivers and streams. The sea shall give off an awful stench and become like blood of a dead man. The mountains shall drip with the blood of the slain, and the hid hills shall run down with my blood of my enemies. Multitudes of dead bodies shall litter the ground. Behold, the hand of the invisible God of your forefathers shall be felt. The presence of the Holy One of Israel shall cause all in the earth to tremble. The mountains shall be thrown down, the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. And at the sound of my voice all creation shall bow down, and never again shall the people whisper, God has not seen it. He is a God far off. He will never behold it, neither does he listen. For thus saith the Lord, Am I a God far off? Am I immune to your evils? Has my heart also hardened and grown cold like yours? My sorrows is infinite, for my eyes have seen and my ears have heard. Thus anger boils up inside me, and my wrath must be poured out, for I am God very close at hand. Therefore the time has come, for the Ancient of Days to stand up and judge the nations, for the God of Heaven to stretch out His arm and pass judgment upon the peoples of the earth. For all that is written in the Scriptures of Truth concerning the Day of the Lord shall surely come upon this generation, even as my words written in this book shall come to pass also, for this word is mine and shall become famous. Behold, even I shall cause my name to resound in all the earth, for I am the Lord. That was the end of the message. This message greatly disturbed me. I had a very hard time coming to grips with this. For anyone out there who, who hears this message, for those of you who are saved, for those of you who are born again, 
who are a new creation in Christ, baptized in the Holy Spirit, you call Christ your Lord and Savior, you are protected from this. You will not have these calamities come upon you. But woe to you if you are not. If you are a mocker and a scoffer, if you tell people that God doesn't exist and people who believe in Jesus are stupid, these woes are yours. And you will come to your knees and you will bow down and you will yell and scream for mercy, but mercy will not be given to you. I pray that you will come to your senses. I pray that those who do not believe in the Lord will come before the great day of the Lord comes. I pray that you shout out, shout out with a great voice, call unto the Lord. He will listen. He will save you. He is a loving God. His, it's just that his anger has been kindled to a point where he must fulfill prophecy. He will not be mocked and his words will not be a lie. They will come to truth and fruition. I have four readings for you to, to look up, especially if you are not a person who believes in God. Psalms chapter 18, verse 6. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Jeremiah 29, verses 12 to 13. And Acts chapter 2, verse 21. These all talk about calling upon the Lord in the at the end. Call upon him. If you see these calamities coming, if you have time to do it, then do it. You may not have time, so do it now. Don't wait. The Lord loves you. He wants you to be with him. If you call upon his name with a humble heart and profess with your mouth that he is Christ and he is Lord, he will save you. He will save you in the end. God bless you, brothers and sisters.